Today would have been my 54th wedding anniversary. And has there been anyone else since he died? Not really, no. Whatever we say within these walls will go no further. I'm gay. Are you sure? So you were married for all of those years, denying yourself who you were? I don't think I really knew who I was until your father died. Turns out I know barely anything about my mother. Well, oh, no. She's gay. You should never be ashamed of being honest, and I am appalled if I've made you feel that way. I've missed my chance of finding the woman of my dreams. You are a very sexy woman, Mary. <gasps> Mum! What planet were you on that you thought it was okay to make a pass at my best friend? Did you just say what I thought she said? Lovely things she was saying, things I longed to hear, but for one moment I looked into her eyes and I saw... me. How's it going with the dating app? I am being chased, and I rather like it. Oh, Mum! Don't get me started. I think that man is half the reason that I drink Earl Grey. <laughs> <laughs> this... has been lovely. Seems to be in a bit of a hurry. Yes, he does. <laughs> Still on a high. You bet. I just wish the taxi hadn't turned up so quick. I, I was building myself up for that first kiss. Uh, learn the lesson. Getting quicker next time. You know, I never expected so much from a first date. I thought it would be a bit of a practice run. But I'm beginning to think there really could be something between us. I'll keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> so when's the next date? Oh, I don't know. We haven't fixed anything yet. Oh. Don't you think calling her the next morning looks a bit keen? Does that matter? I don't want to embarrass myself. Maybe it wasn't such a big deal for her. No, I, I think I'll wait for her to call me. <laughs> but if you both do that, nothing will ever happen. Someone's got to make the first move. Might as well be you. Never waste time thinking about what might have been. If you want something, go for it. It's always been my motto. Uh, seems to have worked for you. <laughs> Might take me a while to work out what to say, though. Just be yourself. She obviously fancies you. <laughs> What's wrong? Faye has been called away on some emergency for the charity she works for in Ecuador. Oh, that's a pity after your date went so well. Now I'm thinking maybe I misread the signals and this is... Faye's way of letting me down gently. Oh, I don't know what to say, or even if I should make the call. Call her. At least then you'll know one way or the other. What do I say? Just, you know... I don't know. I mean, I'm not much good at this stuff myself. Just... <sighs> I'll give it a go. Let's go in the kitchen, leave them to the party. Maybe Faye is as excited about this as you are. That's what I want to believe, but it could just be wishful thinking. Right, what exactly did the text say? That she'd been called away on an emergency. And? Maybe it's just an excuse, uh, a way of avoiding me. Or, and this is a wild and crazy idea, could she be telling the truth? She never even mentioned Ecuador on our date. What else did she say apart from, goodbye, I'm off to Ecuador? She said that it wasn't a five-year mission and she hoped we could pick things up when she gets back. Right, and you took that to mean she was letting you down gently? You think I'm overreacting, don't you? I think, as someone new to this game, you're more vulnerable to the odd misunderstanding. In other words, I'm a screaming neurotic. In the nicest possible way. <laughs> well, if you think I'm in with the chance of another date, then I... I better start making plans about where to take her. Yeah. Or maybe don't plan quite so much. Maybe just let things happen. Or is that too crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you know it won't buzz if you keep checking it. I don't know what you're talking about. Marlon says you've been waiting to hear from Faye. Did he now? Go on. You're not going to believe this. It's Faye. <laughs> She's back in the country and she hasn't had her phone on because she didn't want to use up any data. Oh, that sounds sensible. Did she say anything else? Uh, 
yeah, she wondered if I'd like to meet up again. Why didn't you tell me you were worried about this? Because you've had a million other things on your mind. You've practically run yourself into exhaustion what with looking after this family, taking care of the vets. I'm fine, Mum. We're dealing with April's anxiety over Marlon. Got a new locum starting soon, and now Paddy's back. Actually, that is a point. I need to check that ad. How do I look? Tarty? Desperate? Old? What look are you going for? Cheeky. Do you know I've not had a date in 40 years? Not since your dad took me to the flicks to see Greece. Yeah, don't call it the flicks when you're with Faye because that instantly dates you. You know, I should have known then when I couldn't stop thinking about Olivia Newton-John in that little leather jacket. Moving on. Rona, how do I look? Be honest. I've got chills. They're multiplying. <laughs> <laughs> One skinny latte for madame, uh, who is looking exceedingly glamorous today, if I may be so bold. You may be so bold, but it won't get you anywhere. <laughs> you can't blame a man for trying. Don't tell anyone, but I'm on a date. Oh, who's the lucky lady? Mm, watch this space. <laughs> So I said to him, influence Spanish, of course. Of course. I wouldn't go to the end of the street with you, let alone Lake Titicaca. <laughs> you are funny. You could take me to Lake Titicaca. I'd take you anywhere you wanted. And the pleasure would be all mine. So, tell me some more about this women's refuge that you set up in... Keto? Mm -hmm. Sounds absolutely fascinating. I can do better than that. Come with me next time. We're always looking for volunteers. Oh, you make it sound so easy. Why not? You really are a tonic. Let's go get a gin with that. Doubles on your own. Trying to get me drunk. What if I am? Hmm. <laughs>